Instead, dress yourself with the Lord Jesus Christ and don't plan to indulge your selfish desires. It sounds like an odd request, doesn't it? I mean, how do you, how do you dress yourself in, in, in Jesus? Dress like Jesus? I, I don't think that's what <laughs> Paul's getting at here. Instead, rather, Paul is, um, well, Paul is thinking that Jesus is coming again quick. And not quick as in like a day is a thousand years to God, right? But Jesus is coming any day now. You see, Jesus died, was crucified, was was buried, resurrected, and, and was ascended to heaven. And, and And Paul comes along shortly thereafter, as a convert to, to the way, is, is a, a great missionary for, for Jesus and, and, and is instrumental in the early church along with some of the other apostles. And they expected that Jesus was coming back. That it was a, a brief time before Jesus would come back. We, we call that brief time, uh, or, or that time, uh, the second advent, right? The first advent was before Jesus came uh, to, to Mary and Joseph in the stable on Christmas, that first Christmas, right? But that second advent, that second time of, 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 of awaiting was what Paul thought was going to be brief. And so he instructed the church to, to take that seriously, to not spend their time on and all the, the desires of life and and, and, and living it up, he even says, basically, don't go out and have a party. Instead, be ready for Jesus who's coming any moment. And be excited about that. And so then he says, clothe yourself in, in Jesus Christ. Not, not all of these, these desires of, of, of the world. This isn't going to last. But well, I, I don't want to spoil any endings, but you probably guess that Jesus didn't come back as quickly as Paul thought. Or maybe didn't come back as quickly as Paul had hoped. You see, we're still in that second advent, right? We're, we're still awaiting how Jesus will come. And, and, and what we believe is that Jesus comes in the midst of, uh, of the kingdom of God, ushering in that kingdom of God when, when the, the lion shall sleep with the lamb and, and all will be good. And yes, it feels like we've got a long way to go until that. Maybe we're, we're not so set on it being an immediate thing like Paul was. But still, doesn't it mean something to clothe ourselves in Christ? To, to live out Christ? To live out the love of Christ? To live out the joy of Christ? To, to seek the justice that, that Jesus sought? To love the unloved? To, to nurture the, the unnurtured and the marginalized? You see, when we do that, we are coming closer to, to the kingdom. We're coming closer to realizing what Jesus showed us a glimpse of. And so, while it didn't happen as quickly as Paul thought it would, may we, even today, clothe ourselves in Christ, that in doing so, we may be more and more ready, and we may be part of helping the world be more and more ready for the grace, love, and goodness that is God's kingdom. Amen.